Remember this year? Revolution was in the air, starting with Helen Reddy. And while the bras were still smouldering, we thought it was time for Gough Whitlam to become PM. TV was changing too. Number 96 came on, the clothes came off, and Australian television lost its innocence. What you knew about Bruce and me? I'm a homosexual. There was still room for tough guys on the box, but the men from Homicide kept their suits on. Jesus Christ arrived. On stage, Superstar caused a buzz. Nuns were marching in the streets. Fans were queuing for tickets. A new Falcon cost around three grand, and we had to buckle up as seatbelts became compulsory across Australia. At grand final time, Carlton sorted out Richmond, Manly beat Easts, and the bookies were burnt by Piping Lane in a shock Melbourne Cup win. Please, but Piping Lane's going to win the cup. The Munich Olympics started on a high as our 16-year-old water baby Shane Gould won three golds. But joy turned to horror when Palestinian terrorists murdered 11 Israeli athletes. The war went on in Vietnam, but the Aussie troops were called home at last. And if by chance an honest man like yourself should make enemies, then he would become my enemies. At the movies, The Godfather made us an offer we couldn't refuse. Now listen! Sideburns were wide, hair was long and beer was cheap at 25 cents a glass. And this Daddy Cool was number one with Eagle Rock. I'm just about the way Eagle Rock. The year was 1972. Classic song.